same time. Who was this spirit point? I said point number one. First, APGM believed that yes, Apostle Ken's name was there, and perhaps there are grand documents with him, and they followed him. Just as they followed Chubat, and when the thing got soured, APGM arrested. Let me not use arrested. They invited Chubat under EFCC for questioning. And having done that, they also followed Apostle Ken closely to be sure that what he's doing. First, let me begin to narrate some things. That is why each time I listen to Abnielis VN. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, this month is a month of reviewment. First of all, it started with us, that would then Madam Jennifer, then after that, the Prince of Worry, then after that, Okogu came, then after that, um, Jama Machine came on Sunday, I think, if I'm not mistaken, on Sunday or Saturday, then said that there is money, then Ken came on Sunday evening, said there is no money. So what I'm trying to say in a sense is that many things are happening now. And this V note is very crucial, though it's, it's lengthy, I think 25 minutes long or, or 30 minutes long, but these are the uh, characters that's been on this UAG disbursement from the time Ken said there is money and the money. So just listen to this. Listen to this. It's very revealing. It's very revealing that if we listen and calm down, we'll find out where the truth is. I believe this, uh, our, our man, that's the uh, eyes of the God, he called himself. I don't know his real name. It goes by eyes of the God. To my own assessment and to general uh, analysis, what he's saying is the truth. So let's listen to him. Good evening, everyone. I, my name remains Eyes of the Spirit, and uh, I just decided to address some few issues to all CEOs. That, uh, some of us decided not to talk for obvious reasons, and you can at least see me talk on APGM platform just for one fact that I'm not a national escort the APGN, but I know some of what the leaders of APGN, what they are doing. And it brings me to my heart that you have CEOs that are not well informed, who probably out of their personal gain or curiosity decided to be listening to side talks for clarity purpose. First, even before we all traveled down to Abuja for the screening exercise, there are two statements that have been so very loud. First, the statement is that I received a call from one person, and the person told me that my name is there, and before I could return from just and arrive, I arrived at Abuja, and uh, I learned that the person is dead. So that's it was Ken talking and that's the origin of everybody quoting that Ken's name is in the document. He said that he went to Oracle, he received a call, then when he left Oracle to Abuja, as in the call told him his name is there. When he received a call, the call told him his name is there. When he got back from Oracle to Abuja, the person died. He died. He died. He's dead. Now, the question is, who is the person? That the person died, does that mean the person does not have antecedents? So let's go on. That was the message and the statement of Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wankama. The reason why I'm doing this VM today is, is as follow. First, that is a narrative he gave. And to those of you who came for the screening, at least I came for the very first day of the screening, and after the screening, I stayed for a while. Even before the meeting that was held online, few days to the screening exercise, one, uh, in that very meeting, the same Apostle Ken told us that the money actually has been shared. Mm. I am not taking side with anyone, not Apostle Ken, not APGN. But let's face some of the truth squarely because the major problem that 
that is happening in the Grand Community is just to factor. And my people here is one factor. The second factor, which is the overall problem, is centered on greed. Mm. My VM will be a bit lengthy, but pay attention to it. And if you don't mind, you can share it with somebody to encourage someone. Now, after those sagas and all that, we all left Abuja. But some persons stayed behind. I can still remember on the very day uh, a, a meeting was held on the platform of the, of the under the platform of uh, uh, UAAG uh, regarding some CEOs that are stranded in Abuja. After that, they have been stranded in Abuja. I don't know what they did, and some of them eventually were able to travel out of Abuja to their respective homes. Why am I giving you this background? Because in whatever you do, even though you may be a Christian or you may not be a Christian, that is not the subject matter, but the issue is that it's your conscience alive. Mm. It's your conscience alive. I've played several roles on the ground for peace to reign. On that peace, I started with even Mommy Boss Day, that era. I started, I also communicated with Pastor B. I think on that peace, I, for peace to ensure that peace reign in Grand Community, I, if I don't have ever called Pastor B, I should have called him for more than 10 times. Mm. And all these calls are not calls of subscription, are not calls of what have you, but these calls are centered on peace talk. On my own, I've also called Chief Akogun and Power of Five. Where I am disappointed even in the VN of Chief Akogun calling for a meeting. The said Chief Akogun, I called with Power of Five and said, look, my brethren, I gave them three points for them to look into. And with that three points, they should be able to pursue peace. What was this three point? I said point number one. First, APGN believed that yes, Apostle Ken's name was there, and perhaps there are grand document with him, and they followed him. Just as they followed Jobat, and when the thing got soured, APGN arrested. Let me not use arrested. They invited Geophilos under EFCC for questioning. Mm. And having done that, they also followed Apostle Ken closely to be sure that what he's doing. First, let me begin to narrate some things. That is why each time I listen to Admiral is being, um, 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 I'm always, it's like that guy is entertaining me very well, talking about Admi Ellis. Now, let me go back to what I was saying and remind you of something. During those period of those saga, I remember when even Mama Jennifer Isaac collected money. Mm. Apostle Ken came to the public to me, an apostle of the gospel that carried the same Bible with me to preach, said he never asked his sister to collect that money. And Jennifer Isaac came to the public to me to dinner. That is a red flag of a man who's supposed to be sincere. Because the Bible said that your ye, let your ye be your ye. You must stand for the truth at all times. And I've said this before in one of my messages. And Apostle Ken said he never said he's not aware of this. He debunked that. And that was the time I came up to tell Nigerians that these people we even debunked, even if somebody naked, before then they will still debunk it, and they are good in debunking. Until the same Jennifer Isaac came to the public space and said that his brother is away. I'm going to balance what I'm saying, but I want you to, to listen. You see, you are getting confused of this drama to listen. It's actually a very interesting drama to listen to this. I'm saying this on this platform of all CEOs of Nigeria so that I wouldn't want you as a CEO to be confused. That passed. Recently, on a national television, this man came. There are things I can't put on social media. 
I know I am smelling cold I got for people and there is an account I pay that money to. So when some of what is there not to talk and somebody is saying if you don't collect money, you only collected 100,000. And my friend and my brother raised it as an issue to come and bombard me on my team. Talk now, Pastor B. I frown at it. Today, good and bad. That is why I made one statement. I said, people making noise in grand community. Very soon, we will trace you to your house. I will trace you to your house. We want to know where are you before? What have you achieved in life? Where were you in the society before? What have you got in? What have you arrived to? Because some persons who don't know their background, don't know anything about them, you come to social media, insult them, and go scot free. And you get behaving as if you are thin gods on social media. Because it is your brother's business, it's your friend's business, your relative's business. But some of us decided not to talk for personal reasons. Then this man went to a national television and debunked that. Sama. I want you that is paying attention to me, that is listening to my VM. Ask yourself, is that Christianity? Because some of this problem, the people at the background beating the throne, they were the one beating this throne. So I'll go back to the issue of Shifako and Power of Five. But this man came to national television at the bunk. That is red flag too. Now, on a fateful day, I draw when in one very particular voice note of Aishifa Kogo, I drew his attention. Alongside, I spoke with him that day, because Power of Five was right in his hotel room. I spoke with the two of them on the route of truth, on making peace, ensuring peace to reign. But that very day, I was surprised that Power of Five actually hung the phone on me. He hung it on me. And I called back and told Chief Akoba, I said, you see, somebody will always talk about Suru dance, Suru get the dance. This dance, they want to dance. When the fire starts, it will burn them. I remember also I called the power of five over his grant. He called me, woke me up as early as 4.30. This approved, I have them. He called around 4.30. We talked from 4.30 to almost 7 something. That is three hours plus on phone. I asked him, oh God, I said, I've checked. I've not seen anything in your name in your grant. He talked to the left, right center. Oh God, why are you collecting money for you? He said, don't worry this. I hope the people will say that they will be coming in January or February. I hope they've arrived in Nigeria. That is this question is to the power of five. You see, when people are doing things without the fear of God and the conscience of God, Instead of them blaming themselves, they'll be shifting blames on other person. It's not fair. So those parading with different voice note threat to APJ is a really a pity. Because this is where I personally call Pastor B several occasions and address him to talk to his brother. I remember I lived with the head. I remember they called me for government NGO. The same government NGO that Apostle Ken came to uh, CEO's platform to say there was nothing like government NGO. I won't mention the name. They called me and said I should bring in my people to subscribe for government NGO to write agreement to do this. What am I saying in all these things is that lies have actually begun so many lies. And these people are not even ashamed. They are not ashamed. And this is where I'm hungry. It's like you have eaten. And someone is asking you, have you eaten in a party, whether it be marriage party or birthday party? Looking at the plate of a plate of food right in your front, you are telling the people that you have not eaten. Or you are telling the person that you have not eaten. Are they giving you a drink? You say no. Something that is very, very clear. And somebody is sitting beside you. And you have the nerves without the fear of God to be telling someone and answering that you have not even eaten. That is exactly what they've turned the gang community into. So I call the Shiva Kogun and Power of Five. If this VN get to them, let them deny I didn't call them. She, they were boasting that is uh, Apostle Ken that would do disbursement. I call them not whether EPGN is right or wrong, 
not whether Apostle Ken is right or wrong, but why I call them is that they are play, uh, they are uh, stakeholder and key player in this process. Key player in the sense that people know them, that they should talk to their people and talk to the Apostle Ken and advise him. At least one aspect I'll give to him, the children are not talking, yes, I praise him for that, which is very good. But I actually advised them to advise Apostle Ken. Pastor B can't deny this because I remember when the saga of Mama Bosse did, my, the saga of Dr. Joshua, the saga of Edda, I have been playing back Grand Road in this journey of Grand. I've been in Grand Community, though you will not hear my voice. Because some of us that is known by government who don't talk, we have reason for not talking. But I've been in Grand Community right from then. When Tepe did the screen to you, I was writing to you. Like as I asked if I go one on big question, I say, and my apostle and my reverend that I respect so much was in, uh, he, 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 he will be a part of those in Tepecon. So if he did not disburse money in Tepecon, I wish he would be able to disburse the UEG. As he received the document, to the extent, I, I don't want to see so many things in the, in the, at the public. They say the money came in from China. The money is trekking to Kotonu. He has arrived Kotonu. He is now in the Jiri Republic. From the Jiri Republic, he doesn't enter. Uh, enter uh, uh, they show so many stories came in Rome and all the rest of them. Deception. People without the fear of God. I was confronted a commissioner because I was right in his office on a, on a national assignment. I told the commissioner, I said, sir, you know one truth is this. If you collect money illegally to, illegally to train your children, sir, you may escape it too. But those your children, I'm talking about a commissioner now, not a government appoint, appointee. I'm talking about a commissioner of a police. I say, sir, those money by false pretend anybody, any of your men are collecting to train their children. is judgment and causes they are bringing upon those children. I say because when those Nigerian persons either intimidated, intimidated or by enemies, you collected the money unlawful from that person. That person will raise causes. And don't be so surprised that when your children graduated, they become vagabond. But we don't see it like this. Because people believe, and this mentality in Christianity, I will sin, I will confess, God will forgive me. You are a liar. It doesn't work like that. Go and read your Bible very well about institution. So you see, this problem, I want to warn CEOs on that this platform. Don't, I'll be saying it, don't play PDP and APC game in, in current community. Because some of us CEOs, we ate this thing. And I remember in my last write-up, I talked about King Saul and David. It is the promoter of King Saul that led to his fall that he fell. King Saul would have been relevant when God called him who? But the, the praising guys of King Saul, they were the one that led to his throne. Otherwise, David wouldn't have emerged. And this is where I advise Joyce Lovely, I advise Osim, I advise Power of Five. You can see how these things, if all those advice I give to people towards the ending of last year and early this year, if you have all have healed to my advice, what is happening now wouldn't have happened. Wherever Christ is, Chris Udo is, if this VN get to him, he will, he will acknowledge that I played a very instrumental role at the background. I will call them and advise them. But you see, personal interest and personal ego and greed is the mother of this. So nobody should play APG under these three things I want to say. Yes, it is true. APG might not be perfect 100%. Yes, they said the Apostle Ken's name is there or was there, whichever way they put it. But hear this very well. There are some statements that looks like defensive statements because the person is going somewhere. Like, let me put this narrative to you. 
Now, should you call me if I'm in Port Harcourt? And truly speaking, right at that moment you called, I was in Port Harcourt. And if I don't want to answer you to let you know that I'm in Port Harcourt, I will say something like that. Something like that did not give you the rightful answer that I'm actually in Port Harcourt. But because I don't want to tell you that I'm in Port Harcourt, I just diplomatically answer you. It is true you may say I'm lying. But yes, it's true. That could be the narrative that APJ followed to see the end. And they came to where they are today. So those forwarding those threat messages on APJ and promoting it on social media, very soon you will hear from APJ. Very soon you will understand the harm and the hard work you are doing. Because when Joyce Lovely started all this right off, if you, a CEO, did not promote her, perhaps those messages would have died on one particular platform. It wouldn't have spread around. That would have given her memento and power to be writing more. Because if I write and nobody to promote and spread it around, gradually I will feed away. But people, CEOs, beneficiaries, were the one singing the praise of Joyce Lovely, singing the praise of all of them. I do remember in one platform owned by Pastor Peter, I warned them that this 15th date Mama Jennifer Heise gives is going to truncate the system and cause advoc. CEOs that are blind were insulting me. A man you have not seen, you think I'm a youth? A man you have not seen, a man you don't know his background, you don't know anything about, you were opening your smelling gutter mouth to be insulting me. That's why I ask some of you, we need to fetch your identity so that we really know who you are, not for any evil, so that we can really note the way you make noise. It's like a tenant challenging a land, landlord. It's a pity. It's a pity. I play the vital role from beginning to even the screening. I have my proofs of UEG. I know the role I play. I know my mission. But this is not to praise myself. But what I'm trying to say is that some of us were doing whatever we are doing secretly for peace. If I see anything, severally, Mr. Dawood can confirm that I will call and say, Oh God, Dawood, why are you making this voice? No, now please, now for the sake of the week, please don't do this again. We say, My brother. Why will you allow me to keep quiet when the rest are talking? I'll say, no. If that is a fact. So, please, I'm sending this as a last warning. If you forward any entitling message, any provocating message against APGN on this platform, one, I will remove you. And I think very soon APGN need to come up with sanction against all CEOs. Because CEOs were the promoter, promoters of Joyce Lovely. See you were the promoter, promoters of all this wrongdoing. Yet now you are attributing blames to APJ. How dare you be blame APJ when you are spreading the 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 the, 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 the dance of Joyce Lovely and praising her over social media by forwarding her messages and promoting her? What were you expecting before? What were you expecting when you were promoting the same message? What were you expecting when we were promoting a part of our messages and Chief Abugu messages? Is the truth. We have the King Saul side, we have the King David side. Choose the side you want to follow. But the PJ promised you in their last meeting that as far as you subscribed and you came for screening, that you'll be disposed to. This will be enough to see you, some beneficiaries alike. So those forwarding messages and speaking against you at uh, APG. You don't know what you are doing. Is the truth I'm telling you? Brother Paul was said in the Bible that who has bewitched you? Because you can't expect me. You want to give me food to eat. I am the one reading abuses and curses on you. Or God, if if you are my shoe, will you not stop giving me the food or remove the food from me? So people that want to help you. I believe, like as Admi Ali said some days ago in his VA, because I witnessed that I witnessed that crisis where Apostle Ken was addressing the people 
over the saga between APG and UAG. So, if all those drama happen, is that not enough for us to learn that you are forwarding and promoting someone that you are not supposed to promote? If I'm the power in the shoe of APG, thank God for who I do, a comrade that do his and his escort president. Otherwise, me, as a natural human being, I will give you tooth for tax. As you choose to promote your lovely, when they want to pay, they remove you, go and make your lovely to disperse to you. As you choose to promote anybody, they should, those ones you are promoting to disperse to you. Symbols and case close. Is it because he's dancing this way? If the dance have went the other way side, do you think it will favor a PGN too? So be one on this platform. It's my last warning for you. If you choose to promote whoever you want to promote, I don't have. So guys, you know, enough of this promoting and not promoting. You have heard, we've heard what we want to hear. We've heard what we want to hear. See you on the next update.